Hey guys, Donovan Questenberry here. In this video, I'm gonna go over everything that we put on a truck for a two-man crew cleaning gutters for the day. Uh, let's go ahead and get right to it. So, on the truck over here, we want at least two ladders, uh, 32 foot, 24 foot, and then a, another smaller ladder, also have an extension pole on the truck. Um, over here is everything that we're going to have on the truck for the day. Uh, we got two five gallon buckets. In this bucket we have a screw on lid and we have our water hose in there. Um, that's going to allow us to rinse everything off that we need to. And in this bucket over here we have a solid lanyard. This is either, a, I believe it's a 50 foot, but you could carry a 100 foot as well. 50 foot has gotten to everything that we, um, we have uh, needed it to. We have a trash can. These are the tougher ones. I believe this is a 32 gallon. Um, we can fill this up with water if we need to for our soft wash, but uh, what we do is we throw the debris on the ground, go around, pick it up, throw it in the trash can, wheel it to a natural area. Um, you see we got our harness, we also got our Ridge Pro with a retractable lanyard. Sorry to interrupt the video guys, but do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Do it right now. It'll really, really, really help me grow this channel. The more YouTube sees that people are interacting, early on within the first 48 hours of a video posting and as the channel is new the more it's going to push it out to other people and that's what we're trying to do here we're trying to grow this community so please 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 do that now and uh, that'll really help me out right here we have a socket set we have a drill bit set right here small first aid kit our impact and our regular drill is in here with an extra battery our harness two backpack blowers because one person could be on the roof one person could be on the ground um, we have 770s, then we have the 850s. We only need one 850. I prefer these 770s. The 850 is used for groundwork. 25 yard signs need to go out every day. So yard signs and number of stakes, gas for the blowers. Notice that the blowers are already topped off with gas, so we're not wasting time during the day filling it up. Extra oil. Um, here's some different tools that we need. Um, loppers for little tree branches next to the roof. We could charge an extra 15 bucks just to go snip. Um, here's an auger. This is a cheap old uh, toilet auger, okay? This is used to unclog the top bend of a downspout. You take it, feed it in there, twist it around a few times, and that usually gets rid of all your blockages, so you need to have that on every truck. You don't always need it, but when you need it, you're going to be glad you have it. Cobweb brush you can put on the pole. This is a cable to feed through all of our blowers um, so that they don't get stolen. Uh, the gutter tool, screw on to the end of your pole. Again, you can do gutter work. Hammer, pliers, um, you know, here's a, just a little scraper. You might need it. Some bolt cutters, we actually use these to um, cut the wire stakes for our sign. So if we run out, we need to have those on the truck so they can get cut. And then here's just extra odds and ends that we like to carry. Extra screws, wasp spray, um, little gel for sealing up gutters, extra ratchet strap, extra string for the ladders, uh, roof tar, brackets, gloves, um, tough uh, bags, contractor bags and nails for the roof. So, so you don't need a ton of stuff on the truck. As you can see here, this can quickly be taken off at the end of the day, restock it every morning. And with doing it on our system with these rolling carts, um, we'll, we'll only spend five, 10 minutes every morning getting the truck ready. And we'll no longer have the issue of saying, oh, I didn't have this on the truck. Because as soon as that happens one time, now it gets added to our daily cart for gutter cleaning. Um, and so we don't keep having that issue. Oh, I didn't have a ladder tall enough. Well, guess what? The next time, a larger ladder goes on the truck with you every single day. So hope this helps, guys. Hope this gets your uh, you know mental juices going. Feel free to adapt this to what you do. If you do more repairs than us, maybe you're going to keep some A and B elbows. Maybe you're going to keep some other stuff on your truck. Uh, we strictly focus on gutter cleaning when we go out during the day. And... We might have the socket set on there just to like take off a satellite dish or, or something to that extent. So um, again, adapt it for what you need to do, your type of work, but it's so easy for a truck to get cluttered up. And then when it's cluttered up, your, your tools may be in the truck and you don't know they're there, or you may not be able to find the tool, or you may not have it on the truck because you're not handling it every morning on and off, on and off, on and off. So hope this helps. Hope this uh, makes your 2021 a little bit more efficient. We'll see you in the next video.